instead we have Pat Shah, General Secretary, National Independent Schools Alliance. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, lakhs of parents uh, were sending their children to affordable private schools in the hope of giving them a good education. The pandemic has, of course, changed all of that. How bad has it got? And for not just the parents and the children, but also the affordable private schools. Well, as you, I think, very well pointed out, Trinity, that millions of parents uh, have become quite destitute. And most of them who used to go to these low fee private schools, uh, we refer to them as budget private schools. But I would point out that they are actually community schools. These schools are started by people living in the Basti, right? Uh, appealing to the local need uh, that they see in the Basti. And therefore, these are really genuinely community schools. And if you remember, Gandhiji talked about the metaphor of beautiful tree. These are the beautiful trees, in a sense, which we have across the breadth of India. And those are the schools which actually serve the poor. Right? These are private schools for the poor, not the kind of private schools where you and I would send uh, our children to. Right? We did a survey of these schools uh, through the National Independent Schools Alliance, which is the alliance of the associations of these low fee private schools across the country. We have more than about 70,000 schools uh, as members in the Alliance. And survey was done a couple, few months ago. Uh, and we found that the school, school fees they have received for the last year ranges somewhere between 6% in Madhya Pradesh to about 28% of what otherwise they would have gotten for the year in Delhi. Right? So this is the situation that they are in. So there is no fee coming in, understandably so, because parents obviously are not able to earn uh, sure. their own living, so that they are unable to pay the fees. Absolutely. Right? At the same time, these schools are owed by the government hundreds of crores of rupees. Yep. Right? For example, Delhi government itself owes these private schools about 67 crore rupees. This is the payment, the reimbursement that was supposed to happen. Sure. For the twenty-five percent seat, right. I just uh, Pranoy low. actually had a I had a quick question, Parth. To, to uh, uh, Pranoy, go ahead with that. Yeah, Parth, if I can ask you, why is this campaign so important, and how can it actually help families who can't provide a good education to their children? How can we all work towards this collectively? I think first of all, I want to thank Grande and of course NDTV and all of you. Uh, for taking on this cause. Uh, most people see the parents who send the kids to private schools as somehow not our responsibility. Right? In some sense, half of the students who are going to private schools have been abandoned by the government. There is nothing being done for them. And this is the probably the only effort that I see which is being made uh, by Rangdeer and DTV to help these parents. I will point out that many people think that if these kids don't go to private schools because they can't afford the fees, well, they will go to government schools. Right? But they don't realize that that is actually quite difficult for these students to do. Because most of these, even the low fee private schools, are in English medium. Yep. Now, it's true that teachers may not speak perfect English in the classroom. Yes. Right? It must be uh, language, Hindi, English, both mixed in the classroom. But the textbooks are in English, they study in English, their exams are in English, right? And this is what they have been going through uh, in this budget private schools. Yep. Now for them to shift to a government school, where the instruction would be in local language, whichever state uh, that they may be in, right? It is almost impossible for them to readjust, right? For a short period of time to in this situation. So. I urge everyone who is listening to this program uh, that this is the best thing we can do is to provide self-help. Yes. Help the parents who are yeah. willing to help themselves. Right? They are sending their kids uh, with their own hard-earned money uh, to these low-fee private schools to get slightly better education for no, themselves. No, absolutely. And I think just the point that you're, you're making, part about how making that transition is it's impossible. Uh, you know, it disrupts lives. It disrupts a child's happiness at one level. It's not just financial. You know, making these transitions are often so difficult. But it's an important point, and I'm so glad that you made it. Parth Shah and Vishal Talreja, thank you so much.